Before going into the details of GST, let's see what would happen if Singapore scratched off GST. Would Singaporeans be happy to pay less for goods and services? Of course, happy. Got anyone not happy about that? The last time I bought nasi lemak was only one dollar, but now two dollars. All the money goes where? Goes to our million dollar minister already. Where else? There are many rich people in Singapore, even richer than the ministers in the government. However, rich people are very important for the country to continue to develop its wealth. If Singapore doesn't implement GSD, this is what would happen to ordinary Singaporeans. So let me tell you what, this is what would happen. I can buy more things now. <laughs> and I can even buy an iPhone to show off to my friends. <laughs> no more using this kind of Android phone anymore. Very, very siashi. As we all know, Singapore is a small country, and the nearest place where we can travel to always get cheap stuff is Johor Bahru, Malaysia. But will Johor Bahru ordinary residents be happy when they are seeing Singaporeans in their own town? People doing business in Johor Bahru will be happy to see Singaporeans as they can raise their prices as much as possible to sell their goods and services. However, this has affected many Johor Bahru ordinary residents. They are not happy because they can't enjoy the price which they are supposed to deserve in their own town. Yet they have to envy or be jealous of the Singaporeans. Prices of goods and services continue to rise while their wages remain the same, with many ordinary residents having to be more frugal as more Singaporeans spend their money in Johor Bahru. Oh, you know, every time I was in JB, I felt myself not an ordinary Singaporean anymore, but a very rich Singaporean. I could go for massage, leg massage, face massage, and even special massage that many ordinary people in JB couldn't enjoy. And then I would go to some place to eat all the Musan King durians I want, and the seller was serving me like a king. Then I would go to this what, old white town coffee shop for Gaya roti we ate, and then order extra things like nasi loma just as a side dish. And for dinner, at least two large chili crabs at Taman Sentosa. So, if there were no GST in Singapore, do you think that things in Singapore would be cheap? Definitely not. Local businesses will raise their prices like those in Johor Bahru when there are many rich people in Singapore. As such, this will only cause more anger among ordinary Singaporeans against the government. Therefore, GST is to control local businesses so that ordinary Singaporeans do not face the same situation as in Johor Bahru. So, this is what GST is all about in Singapore. The GST supports public spending that benefits ordinary Singaporeans, including better health care, education, security, and even basic necessities. The low-income earners could get basic necessities like groceries every month besides getting GST rebates and applying for financial support. Sounds like Robin Hood to get money from the rich for the poor, but in a modern way. Gosh, this means the more GST increase, the more I can get to save money to go to JB anytime and enjoy myself. Wow! And this means that Domora can even take a boat to Batam to enjoy four hands for such. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Even if one day I'm rich, I won't tell anyone so I can continue to get what government gave me. <laughs> so, which one do you think needs GSD more? The Singapore government or the ordinary Singaporeans?